We're on another farm field this morning on another beautiful Minnesota day. Um, this particular spot was part of a very small village in the late 1800s uh, through about 1910, 1920, somewhere in there. And then it pretty much went extinct with the exception of a few nearby houses. Um, this spot that I'm standing on was where the general store was. So we're hoping that uh, some customers dropped a few things and then we can find some artifacts here. Um, I'm gonna make this really short because I wanna get on this field. Dan is already detecting over there, probably scooping up all the Indians. Uh, I wanna get detecting, so let's start. Old as dirt. I'm getting an 88 that direction, but only a 78 that direction, so. Very dubious signal, but I'm gonna see what this is. And now that I've turned the ground over a little bit more, signal's more definite. It's actually up in the clod at an 83. Maybe we've got our first Indian here. So let's see here. Right here in this clod, appears to be kind of small. Still in the clod. And it is a coin. Yeah, our first Indian. I think that says 1880. Six or eight, 1880 something. So that is period to this town. Dan said, oh, cool. And he is coming over here. So let's see what he's got. Ooh. Token. Oh, he found a token. And you know, good for one cent in trade. And this side has the town name on it, so I don't know if we want to show it. Let me see. It's, I saw it earlier. This town? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, then no. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to show this town. Well, that's a fantastic find. A token from an extinct town. Yep. yep. Well, I've switched over to uh, Gary Blackwell's Techno program here. That's what Dan is using. There are a lot of nails in here and Techno is supposed to be good with nails or in a uh, iron infested area, I should say. So I've turned the iron down, so I'm not hearing all of that. And we're gonna see if, what we can sniff out between the iron here. I have a feeling there's a lot of targets. They're just hiding, hiding in among the nails. Dan's got a coin. Oh, he needs my brush. He's lost his brush somewhere. Let's see here. Yeah, I can't, can't make it. It looks like probably a nickel size. Okay, maybe a V-nickel? No, it might. No, it's an Indian. Oh, it is? I mean, I mean a, a buffalo. A buffalo, okay. Here's, Need a date on it? There's the chief. Oh, I doubt it. Yeah. Those buffalo. No, no, uh, there is one. Yeah, what is it? Uh, get my portable readers on here. There's definitely a date on it, uh, 1916. 16, that's an early one. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Right in line with the store dates, too. Yeah, we're, doing, we're on a site. We're on a site. Well, I've been digging a lot of low VDI numbers and most of them have been trash, but this has a round edge. So I'm curious to see if this might be something good. Looks like maybe a mother of pearl button or something like that. It's definitely shiny. Oh yeah, it's definitely a button. And it had a A mother of pearl face. I think that's what that is. No, I could be wrong. 
Well, the uh, Techno program has sniffed out something right on top here. It is uh, really having to separate in all these nails. But it found something here, so let's see. Oh, it's just lead. It's just that little bitty piece of lead surrounded by iron. What'd you get? Well, I've had time to clean it off while you were getting that fine, so I'll just show you the back first. Save okay. a surprise. Ready? All right. Oh, oh, that's fantastic. Property of Northwestern Line. What does that bottom say? C and N W Railroad. Rail, railway. R Y. R Y. Yeah, that is. In the great. old days, they used R Y instead of R R a lot of times. Okay. Yeah, there was a railroad just beyond that line of trees in the distance. So that acorn did not fall far from the tree. Nice find. Thank you. This is an 85 right there. It doesn't have a particularly sweet sound to it. There's iron all over though. Oh, now that sounds better. Well, let's see, maybe we can scare up another Indian. Yes, it is a coin. And I believe that is another Indian. No, 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 no. That is a weedy. There's Lincoln on the front. I'm pretty sure that's a weedy. It's kind of corroded though. Let's see if we can even see a date. Well, I can't just now. It's probably early, though. Probably, well, I shouldn't say, because farmers would drop stuff at any time, even after the store or house or whatever was here was gone. You can always get a farmer drop that can be a little misleading in terms of chronology, but that is a weedy. We call them weedies because they're wheat scents. They have a wheat sheath on the back. Well, the Techna program sniffed out at 79, 78, in amongst a lot of iron through here. So it is out. It is in this clod. And it is a nail. A little falsing there. Looks like a square nail. Well, this is a curious thing. It was right on, uh, right on the surface. I, I can't tell if that's supposed to be jewelry. Looks like it's kind of a horseshoe shape. There might be something on that center, uh, center circle. If I can get any more detail on that, I will post it and let you see it. Dan found another railroad tag. What's that one say? What does that say? I, I see R S R R. It looks like I don't know. It doesn't make sense. D R W and S R R. And sixty-seven. Yep. Local. Okay. And a star at the bottom. Nice. Very nice. As time went on, it became clear that the day was going to be less about the general store and more about the railroad. On a grand scale, railroads built America. They connected the country from coast to coast, giving us a sense of national unity and making trade and westward expansion easier. On a more personal level, the regional and local railroads connected people. If a train stopped at your tiny town, you could get somewhere in an hour that would have taken you a day by buggy, 
You could take it to go shopping or visit friends and relatives in nearby towns or get to a hospital or a college. The railroad tags found on this property are a faint echo from the past, telling us of people connecting with people, goods arriving by train, commerce, family, education, entertainment, life. They serve the same purpose that baggage claim tickets do now, to make sure that passengers and their bags found each other at the end of the ride. So right next to this big shard, there's a pretty strong 74. Hoping to find one of those railroad tags, to be honest. Oh no. What is it? I thought I saw a can. Yes, I did see a can. Well, I've been hitting a lot of low conductors that I haven't been uh, recording. But this is kind of interesting. This uh, this kind of looks like a either a bar pin. It almost looks like a pair of tweezers, half of a tweezers. But it's definitely uh, got some decoration on there. This might have been a tie tack. I think I might see a little place there where it could uh, connect, and then. Uh, and then the pin could rest in this little crevice right there. So I'm going to call this another piece of Victorian jewelry. Got a 7475, 76. Still hoping for a railroad tag. Dan has found four of them now. That's just not fair. Got to be one in here with my name on it. it. Says they're all coming in in the 70s and they're not subtle. So that. Sounds a lot like this signal, but I do not see a rectangular object. Instead, I see a little piece of lead. This looks like a fired bullet, or maybe a bale seal. This could be a bale seal. Oh, it is. This is a bale seal. That's how you know you're next to a railroad. That and all the railroad tags. 89.90. I'm getting it a few inches off the ground though, so either it's right on top or it's something big. Possibly a aluminum can smashed flat. We'll give you a high tone that will break your heart when you see what it is. Also hearing iron in there, so this could go a lot of ways. I do not think it's a can because it's fairly small. Looking for that silver rim. Is there a silver rim? It's a button, it appears. Let's see. At least it was round. This is, uh, looks almost like that one I found a little while ago with some kind of silver wash or or, uh, yeah, this is a little bit different. This has a silver wash, but uh, the other one I thought might be mother of pearl. Now I've heard these called suspender buttons, but uh, I don't know. 7880, how's about a luggage tag? How about it? My turn. Not to be, what it is to be, is a crappy old piece of aluminum. 8283, could this be my railroad tag? There it is, and it is. <laughs> it looks like a tiny little caster. What could have that gone to? Oh, it's a tiny little pulley, I think. Hmm. 
Hmm. Don't know. Well, Tecna has found a high tone here in the middle of a bunch of iron. So that is, uh, that's pretty impressive right there. Let's see if we've got a coin. Or maybe that was just falsing. Nope. It is real. Let's have a coin. I think this is lead. Yep. That is lead, but you know, Techno sniffed that out. In between all that iron. I got a 75 here. This could be trash, could be a luggage tag, could be a button, could even be a buffalo nickel. Dan said that his rang up in the 70s for some odd reason. Well, we have a little piece of mystery metal here. Let's see if this has got anything on it. Oh yeah, it does have some fancy on it. Look at that. I wonder what that was to. It almost looks whole. I wonder if this is like a very small pin. Well, that was pretty impressive, finding that little tiny piece of jewelry in among all this iron. I did tweak the uh, reactivity here. Let me see what it's at. It's at three. Actually, I don't know what the default is for Tecna. Maybe that is the default. But um, yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty impressive. Dan had a really good day, especially for luggage tags. Look at this. This is uh, really impressive. Property of the Northwestern line. This is... Uh, I think it's Duluth. Duluth and something Red and Red Wing and SRRR, whatever that stands for. This is um, DRW, something Red Wing, Duluth Red Wing and SRR. Same one as that, right? Yeah. yeah I think same. the S is probably South. Gotcha. And I like this one the best. This says Duluth Red Wing South Railroad, Red Wing, Minnesota. And then please return. Uh, please return the this something with both cards to this company as soon as possible. As soon as, we'll, I, we'll do that. I, I, I'm going to hold you to this as soon as possible, Dan. <laughs> okay. I'll send you some pictures after I get that straightened. If, yeah, that'd be great. you want to post something. That sounds great. Well, Dan is turning, at, uh, turning in for the day, and I'm going to continue, see if I can't find something else in this field that's been so stingy to me today and so generous to Dan. <laughs> but, uh, oh, look at this, all this stuff. Yeah. Mule brand button. Yep. I told you about that. I didn't show yep. you that. That's an overalls button. And key and a key that's uh, similar to a Model T key. And I've found these before. I this is this is the way they were. They were bent like this. Everyone I found is like that. Oh yeah, I have seen those. I don't know if that's another version of a corset. It sort of looks that way. Yeah. Bigger. Yeah. Or what the deal is. Yeah. But, but yes, I had a very good day. Good. Very happy with that. Good. Glad and, you could join me. I'm getting out of here so you'll find that silver coin. Oh, that's right. That's right. I always do better after Dan goes. <laughs> All right, see you, Dan. You know, it is funny. It's something we joke about frequently that I always do better after Dan leaves. I don't know if you guys have a regular buddy that you detect with, whether you've noticed that phenomenon. You know, it seems like it's just coincidental, but maybe there is something to the fact that you just concentrate better when you're by yourself. Now, that said, I do prefer detecting with other people. It's fun to, fun to uh, share what you find uh, when you find it. So, not complaining, but uh, I also don't complain when he leaves. See you, Dan. Kind of a loud and obnoxious 85. This could be a flat iron way deep. 
So I'm not going to dig too deep for this one. Well, it is not deep. It is out already. Let's see what's making it obnoxious. Is it in here? Nope. Ah, that's why it's obnoxious. It's a round piece of uh, iron pipe. Some kind of junction for an iron pipe. Well, that explains it. Eighty-seven, eighty-eight. Pretty good signal. Is this going to be the find of the day? Ooh, I don't think so. It's deep and still loud. Still an 88. It's probably a aluminum pan or a piece of flat metal. Oh, it is a piece of flat, flat metal, but not iron. Is this a tag? Do I finally get a tag? I think this is uh, something much more utilitarian. <gasps> no, it's a tag. Oh boy, I finally got my luggage tag. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, yes. The property of the CM and St. P. Railway, St. Paul Railway, Milwaukee. Oh, here's another message, a message from the past. And it says, please return this check with both cards to this company as soon as possible. I will do that. No, I won't. Oh, I finally got my, finally got my uh, railroad tag. Yes, 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 yes. And it is, uh, it is not in terrible shape. You can actually read it. Yes, I'm happy about that. I know it's not a silver coin, but I love this kind of Americana. Well, this one was such a messy, sig messy signal that I didn't even turn the camera on, but I see what popped out of the hole. It is another railroad tag. Yay. That makes me happy. I know it's not silver or a coin or an ancient artifact, but I do like finding things that you can trace back to its origin. And this one is obviously used by this railroad right here to move goods. It says RW, which is Red Wing, something RW South Railroad, Railway, I think is what it says. I think I'm, I think pretty sure Dan has one just like, or two just like this. Well, that is about it for me for today. Um, true to form, I did find two railroad tags after Dan left, so <laughs> the phenomenon continues. Um, we did find some artifacts consistent with a uh, general store in a small town, such as, uh, uh, well, Dan found that really cool token with the actual town name on it, and that's fantastic. Um, and I found, you know, uh, an Indian and a, and a weedy. I um, don't have a date on that weedy yet, but I bet it's early. Um, otherwise, the real surprise of the day was finding all those railroad tags. I think between us, we have six of them. Um, knowing what we know now about this place, though, uh, it shouldn't come as a surprise. There was the general store and then a grain elevator, and on the other side of that was the railroad track. So I think a lot of goods were moved off the railroad um, uh, and the grain elevator over to the store and back and forth, and, and in the course of all that movement, uh, some tags were lost. So uh, as far as Techna goes, um, jury is still out for me. I did see it separate really well in iron, but it's also sparking a lot, falsing a lot for me, giving those pippy high tones um, a little too lively, as Gary would say. Uh, I had the sensitivity turned down to about 85. I suppose I could have taken it, taken it down even more. Um, but uh, I'll probably use it again 
I don't know that it will be my go-to program. I probably will stick with Sensitive Full Tone um, as my go-to with uh, my favorite Goldfield uh, for more open field use. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share uh, if you like this channel and, and want to share with your friends. We'd appreciate it very much. And uh, until next time, see ya.